Welcome to this video tutorial on the subject of the administration phase. This video will show you how to create, modify, or delete different bridge restorations. First, we will create a new case. To do this, click on Add New Order. A new window opens and we enter the name of the dentist as well as the name of the patient. This information alone is enough to create the case. Any further information is optional. We can now click on Save and Add Case. First, we will create three adjacent anatomic crowns in the odontogram. We will click on position 1-7, then on position 1-6, and finally on position 1-5. As we have selected the three positions in the odontogram one after the other, they are automatically grouped together, but are not yet defined as a bridge. At the moment, the in-lab software treats them as three single-tooth restorations. The white circles between the restorations at 1.5 and 1.6, as well as 1.6 and 1.7, show that no connector has been defined yet. By grouping the restorations, we can define, in the case details, the information regarding the mill device, manufacturer, and material for the whole group. Mandatory fields are marked with a blue asterisk, as well as a blue indicator on the right-hand edge of the case details window. Now we'll go through this step by step. As soon as all the mandatory fields have been selected, the blue indicator to the right disappears. Next, we will create a new restoration in the second quadrant. We make sure that the option Crown Anatomic, under Indications on the left-hand side of the window, is active, and select the crown on 2-7 in the odontogram. We place the second crown on position 2-4. To define the pontics, we will activate the pontic anatomic option and click on our pontics on 2.5 and 2.6, one after the other. As you can see, the in-lab software has now automatically added the anatomic connectors. Next, we will once again complete all mandatory fields under Case Details. As we will create another restoration in the third quadrant, we once again select the option Crown Anatomic in the Indications window and set the two positions of the crowns in the odontogram. For the pontics, we activate the option Pontic Anatomic and define these two positions in the odontogram as well. Like before, our anatomic connectors appear automatically. We now want to change this bridge into a multi-layer bridge. To do so, we go to the Case Details and activate the option Multi-Layer. The bridge is now divided into a veneering structure and a framework. Let us assume that the structure on 4.7 should not be divided into a multi-layer structure, due to a lack of space in relation to the antagonist. By clicking on Define Multi-Layer, it is possible to select the restoration on 4.7 and convert it back into a full anatomic crown by clicking on Unsplit. This needs to be confirmed by clicking on Apply. We also have the option to select a separate gingiva element for the bridge, and its design can be edited as an additional construction element. This option is available for all bridges on stumps and implants. It can also be combined with the multi-layer option. Now that we have defined the structure of the bridge from 4.4 to 4.7, we select the mandatory fields and define the mill device, the framework manufacturer, the framework material, the veneering manufacturer, and finally the veneering material. Next, we will show you how you can change the type of connector using the bridge restoration from 2.4 to 2.7.
We move the cursor over the connector element in the odontogram, and once we click on it, the anatomic connector is replaced by a connector intersection. This kind of connector is created by the overlapping of the adjacent teeth. By clicking on the connector element once again, we can create a stress breaker. Clicking again will remove the connector element. To once again set the anatomic connector type, we click on the element again. Using the restoration in the first quadrant, we will show you an alternative way to change the connector type. We move the cursor over the elements between the restorations and click on them to initially create an anatomic connector for each. The connector type is displayed in the window under Case Details. We click on one of the two connectors and can use the drop-down menu to change the connector type. As this bridge restoration consists of three splinted crowns, only the intersection option is available as an alternative connector type. The new type of connector element is now shown both in the odontogram as well as in the case details window. At this point, you can also delete the active element by clicking on Delete. Now we have a single tooth restoration on position 1-5 and two splinted restorations on position 1-6 and 1-7 in the first quadrant. Thank you very much for your attention. We would like to wish you every success when working with InLab.